hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to explain you the difference between compressed liquid and saturated liquid so friends let's start friends here this is a saturation pressure versus saturation temperature graph and this is a saturation curve and on the left side of this saturation curve there is a liquid region and on the right hand side of this saturation curve there is a superheated vapor region and friends this is a point of saturated liquid which is at p sat 1 saturation pressure and at t sat 1 saturation temperature now friends see here this is a saturated liquid and this is compressed liquid for such in saturated liquid the liquid at saturation temperature at given pre saturation pressure which is about to vaporize is called as a saturated liquid see here friends this is a saturated liquid this is a point which is at saturation pressure and at saturation temperature and it is about to vaporize so and it is on the saturation curve so this point is called as saturated liquid point and the liquid which is present here is called as saturated liquid so here saturated liquid next is a compressed liquid liquid existing at a temperature lower than saturation temperature is called as compressed liquid because pressure of the liquid is higher than the saturation pressure and this liquid is not about to vaporize see your friends the temperature lower than the saturation temperature that means the temperature will be here or here less than this saturation temperature and uh, saturation temperature so the, the liquid existing at temperature lower than saturation temperature is called compressed liquid that is liquid which is available here less than saturation temperature in this case and uh, about this because this point because of pressure of liquid higher than saturation pressure we will see in our third point in detail and this liquid is not about to vaporize the liquid which is present here is in liquid region so it is not going to be vaporized now second point in saturated liquid a liquid with a temperature and pressure are such that when trying to decrease pressure without changing the temperature the liquid begins to boil a liquid with a temperature and pressure such that when trying to decrease here friends this temperature and pressure means the uh, the saturation pressure and saturation temperature here and when trying to decrease the pressure without changing the temperature that is if we decrease this decrease the pressure below the saturation pressure then it starts to without and without changing the temperature that is the temperature temperature remains t sat 1 and uh, pressure is below the p sat 1 here in this case then the liquid begins to boil now in compressed liquid a liquid under mechanical or thermodynamic conditions that force it to be liquid this will also we will see in detail in the our third point but friends as we know a liquid is a phase of matter which contains molecules having intermolecular spaces larger than solids and smaller than gases this gives the liquids ability to flow so here friends this is a solid this is a liquid and uh, this is a gas these are the molecules uh, molecules here friends 
this is the intermolecular for uh, spaces between the solid is much lesser and it is a solid it is in solid case uh, much closer uh, the space the, there is no space between the particles uh, or uh, molecules and in liquid as compared to uh, solid there is uh, more intermolecular space and in case of gas there is more intermolecular space as between the molecules as compared to liquid uh, molecules in the diagram we can see these are closely spa spaced these are these are little less closely closely spaced and these are these are very far these two molecules are very uh, far as compared to liquid molecules here friends we third point of the saturated uh, liquid we can make a saturated liquid via adding solutes to a solvent until we cannot add any more solutes so here friends in the diagram as we have seen uh, there is intermolecular space between the liquid molecules and we so, and this is a solvent solvent and we add some solutes this is a uh, gray colored this one this is a gray colored layer is uh, we can say here solute we can add we can add a uh, solute to the solvent or this liquid up to the until uh, any more uh, until we cannot uh, add any more further solute to this solvent then this uh, uh, liquid this one becomes uh, saturated liquid by adding solute until we cannot add any more solutes to the solvent or this liquid next is we can form a compressed liquid when we apply external pressure until the solution compress due to the reduction of empty spaces between the molecules here in uh, in saturated liquid uh, saturated liquid we added solute to fill the intermolecular space between the liquid and in case of compressed liquid we compress the we have considered here piston cylinder frictionless piston cylinder arrangement and this is a compressed liquid here um, to fill the intermolecular space between the liquid particles of this in case of compressed liquid we uh, apply external force or pressure to the liquid so that the space between intermolecular space between liquid mo molecules of liquid becomes lesser more lesser so here uh, in case of compressed liquid apply external pressure until solution compress due to reduction of empty spaces between the molecules here friends next fourth point is in saturated liquid saturated specific volume here saturated specific volume and in case of compressed liquid the specific volume of compressed liquid is lesser than the saturated specific volume and here fifth one enthalpy of saturated liquid and in compressed liquid enthalpy of compressed liquid is less than the enthalpy of saturated liquid and saturation temperature here saturation temperature and in case of compressed liquid the compressed liquid temperature is less than the saturation temperature here we can see here friends uh, this is a less temperature this is a point uh, and this is a saturation temperature and this is a another temperature uh, on the left hand side of the saturation curve this this is a compressed liquid temperature and which is less than the saturation temperature here saturation pressure and in case of compressed liquid the compressed liquid's pressure is greater than the saturation pressure
this is because as we have seen here we apply external force to the saturated liquid to compress it uh, so its pressure increases and it is it becomes greater than the saturation pressure now friends here compressed liquid is also called as subcooled liquid this is because friends uh, here com in case of compressed liquid the temperature is less than the saturation temperature here now consider this is t sat this point temperature and this is t temperature and um, the the t sat minus t that is suppose this is tl the temperature of the compressed liquid which is less than the saturation temperature and this this is called uh, so because uh, of this temperature tl is less than saturation temperature it is called as subcooled liquid and uh, the difference between the uh, T sat minus that is T sat that is saturation temperature minus compressed liquids temperature T L is called as degree of subcooling here and here friend next is superheated vapor superheated vapor here friends in the graph superheated vapor will lie suppose we increase the temperature up to this point and this is t soup temperature the uh, the we if we increase the temperature of this liquid saturated liquid then it becomes a uh, superheated vapor it becomes superheated vapor because it is in the superheated vapor region and here friends the difference between t soup uh, superheated vapor temperature minus saturation temperature is called as degree of superheat Thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you